Locals Canna House just got the new drop. We linked up with Doug. Insane. This whole building is a dispensary with Terps galore. They have a glass lounge. They have everything here. Locals Canna House Spokane. Let's go in and talk to Doug. Let's see the menu. This place is stocked with Terps. I mean, to the top. Hey, my name is Doug Peterson. This is Locals Canna House in Spokane, Washington. You know, the name Locals Canna House, I told you earlier, I was talking about this a little bit. I'm a skier, um, a wannabe surfer, and wherever you go to places you haven't been, especially back in the day, um, you didn't travel a lot of herb with you because you didn't want to get troubled. So the first thing you do when you hit a new town is hook up with the locals and get the fire and know where to ride. So that's where the name came from is like, if you want to hit Spokane and you want the best flour, you want the best rosin, you want the best concentrates, locals. And people know it from Seattle and all over. You're, you're going to shop for a fire and you hit Spokane, you hit Locals Canna House. And uh, we're uh, happy to be hooked up with the Black Leaf crew. You know, the, the shop was one of the original OG shops actually in the world. And uh, we were probably one of the first companies to kind of use the term craft cannabis. Uh, I'm from the cannabis industry. I go way back. And so the shop has really been geared towards uh, being a very hand-picked menu. We really like to have the best curated menu that we can have. And we like to work with really cool people. So we've did our own model. We're, we're not heavy discounters. We don't, we don't really see what's going on in the industry. We kind of stay in our lane. And uh, we just have really good relationships with both our customers and our suppliers. Our growers are like our family. This is a relationship-based company. And so even the cases are handmade locally. So some of the trim out in the shop is from my own property. I live in the mountains. Um, and, and we're really super proud of what we're doing here. We think it's a privilege to sell cannabis. And um, we want to treat our customers like, like it's, a, it's a privilege to serve them as well. Um, and so we just try to do our own thing and, and, and just keep the markets evolved. I mean, we started in 2015. And uh, I mean, if you look on the shelves, we look like a legit store, you know, and um, I'm pretty proud of that. You know, I'm pretty proud of how we've evolved. We never set out to be the biggest company in the world, just the best. So we really just want to be the best shop that we can be. Uh, we take what we do super, super serious. And so we think you don't have to be the biggest to be the best. What's on our shelves we're super proud of. We're, uh, you know, relationships with people like Randy and, and, and their friends, right? They're, they were friends through this process, right? A lot of them I knew from the old days and a lot of them I know from the new days. But if you're in this shop, it's because we have a good relationship with you and we want to move their products and we want to get those products into the hands of our customers. Yo, this is surreal. A 15 plus year relationship of growing in Florida to obviously moving across the country to now come back together with my homie and be able to launch Blackleaf in Washington and then at Locals Only, which is another dope ass dude who's part of the family. I mean, honestly, a surreal movement to be in Cali and now in Washington and to be able to drop flavors that are our proprietary flavors in Washington and put out product that is top notch. It's honestly a dream come true. In 2002, when I started cultivating, this was the thought was like one day, like one, one day you got this. Feel like John Moran, need a triple double.